Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please remember to subscribe. So I like to think of myself as a pretty organized person. I am pretty organized and I am pretty disciplined. I really, really am passionate about the life-changing magic of tidying up and the KonMari method. And I talked a little bit about that in one of my earlier videos. But sometimes I know things still get over my head in the house. It's not easy when you have two kids and you're trying to manage and maintain spaces and keep them optimized. So what I'm doing today is I'm actually having a professional organizer, Tanisha from Natural Born Organizers, coming to the house. I've never actually had a professional organizer come to the house to help me, but I am so excited about this today. We've had a big transition in our lives in the past year. My daughter, Laya, is no longer in traditional school. I made the decision to homeschool her. So now the dilemma that I'm facing is the playroom space has always doubled as my office space. Now it's also a homeschool classroom. And I'm struggling a little bit to find the balance and find the flow with one space that's not too huge, but serving so many different functions. Another reason why I'm really happy to have Tanisha come from Natural Born Organizers and offer us a fresh perspective is that I really believe that in order to make a new change, to uh, own and sustain a new identity, you need some environmental triggers. And this is something that was part of a book that I read unlocking greatness. And I actually reviewed that with Kofi in one of our Power Couples Tips videos. It's really important that when you wanna sustain change or adopt and maintain a new identity that you have changes and triggers in your environment that actually activate a sense of something new. You have to change the energy with the environment. So besides just getting organized and making sure that we have the right things in the right spaces and we're decluttering, I also want to have a bit of a transformation now that's really going to help us own this new identity as a homeschool academy here. This is going to be a three or four part video series that is just going to walk through the process of decluttering our kids club. I call it a kids club because we love to go on family vacations and the best thing for the kids about family vacations is kids club. And kids club is a place where the kids can be free, where you see that the uh, children are kind of the governors of what goes on in that space. There are lots of different toys that are suitable to children of different ages. So this is a kids club space, uh, but at the same time, it's also a space that I want to function as a homeschool classroom. I think there's overlap because there's going to be uh, play and entertainment during homeschool as well and crafting and those sorts of things. But there also needs to be learning and order and a bit more organization than we have right now in place. The other thing is, as I said, I've always liked to have my office in the same level of our house as the playroom. We have a three-story house. The first level is for dining and entertaining. The second level really belongs to the kids. I call it their apartment. It has our kids club, our playroom area, and it has a table and chairs where they can do work and also their bedroom and bathroom. The third level of our house is really the master suite. Since my children were young, I've always liked to have my desk on the same level as them so that way I could see them while they were playing and I could be accessible to them. I actually connected with Tanisha through a great moms network called Irvine Moms. You can find them online at Irvine Moms Network or on Instagram at Irvine Moms. I sent Tanisha some footage of my space and we arranged to have a virtual consultation. This is great. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Great, great. I'm so excited to meet you in person. And actually, my assistant is also here. She's on the other side of the camera, but she can hear you. And we'll we'll, we'll like flip you around so that you could see her in a minute. Cool. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. And I absolutely love being a professional organizer. I can tell um, by your office. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I absolutely love it. Um, I, one of the reasons why I love it is because um, 
I love to be able to learn my clients and come up with systems that work for them and specifically their their families and how it flows. Right. Because I recognize how living in um, a space that isn't quite functioning and the energy isn't right, how that affects everything. And oh my goodness, um, speaking to my soul. It's true. <laughs> and, and it's like, I think people feel like sometimes it's not attainable mm -hmm. and like they have to do so much to get to that and it really is some most of the time it's little tweaks that people need to do um in order to get that perfect system and that is what like gets my mind i'm really excited because i have tanisha from natural born organizers Hello. who is going to be helping me deal with this phase so as you guys might have heard from some of my other videos, this year we took a big step, a big transition in our family. And my daughter is homeschooling this year. So she's not in traditional school anymore. She started middle school and I'm homeschooling her. And so that has been fabulous in many ways, but it has also created new challenges and dilemmas in terms of our physical space. We've got this great loft area that has been great historically for the kids. We've got a playroom area here. Um, and then I brought in a table as they were getting older, a place for them to do work. I always kept my desk in here so that I could see them, especially when they were little, while I was doing work. But now it's gone from not just being a playroom, not just being a playroom in an office, it's now a playroom, an office, and a homeschool classroom. And I am at a loss. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I need professional help. So I'm at that point. So I'm Tanisha Lyons Porter, and my company is Natural Born Organizers, and I am a professional organizer. People don't quite realize when a space is becomes not functional, right. that is a block. And I love what you're saying about blockages and new energy. It is a new decade. Yes. And I'm really sensitive to that because when I was growing up, we moved 13 times. Oh, wow. It was a net positive for me, but something that I think I took away from that that I haven't always appreciated is like my passion now or my need for change, mm. for change and energy. It was something that was happening in my life. And so I think I always had that rejuvenation from starting fresh, especially yes. starting fresh in spaces. Yes. So we didn't, we decluttered often before right. we moved off. Right. Uh, for me, living in this place um, that we've lived almost six years, it's a long time Yes. for me to yes. live in one space. Yes. And also my family has changed and my kids are growing. Mm -hmm. And so we're experiencing a lot of change. I'm experiencing change as a person. Yes. I'm experiencing change professionally even. Right. So I also want to find a good, sustainable, healthy way to reflect that change in the space. Sounds good. So Sounds you. good. How do you want it to function? We know you kind of briefly talked about what happens in here, but that is going to be the guiding point mm -hmm. for pretty much everything, for decluttering, for um, sorting and categorizing, and also sourcing either new furniture okay. or organizing products. It's okay. what is the function, desired function of the space for the space. Tanisha was amazing. She was really non-judgmental and she asked the right questions to really get me to open up and think critically about what I wanted to achieve in the space. Beyond the main play area, I also had brought this table and chairs into the space for them. I started really for them to do homework. So that way everything wasn't spread out all over the dining room table. Right. We'd just be ready to transition quickly into dinner. We have a lot of activities going on after school, so it's not like, here are the dinner table, yes. all that. Yes. So you have your own space to work, and then it's also kind of nice too, because if we have um, parties and we have friends over with their kids, this is also a good place for them to eat. If yes. They come up here and sit down and eat, maybe watch TV, whatever. Yes. Yes. So I definitely like having the table and chairs, and I don't just homeschool her, we have um, a couple of collaboratives that mm. we do. So a couple of other kids come over and we kind of gather around this table to do those lessons. Okay, that makes sense, that's good. Now, I've had this storage unit for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's pro it probably needs to be seriously decluttered because I have not evaluated everything. Everything that's in, in there. every cubby. That, okay, that will definitely be a session. Okay, yes. yes. So I need to figure out, am I using this? Is this optimized? Right. That's a big question mark. Absolutely. <laughs> that's a big question mark. Mm -hmm. I just keep buying these <laughs> cabinets yes. instead of really solving my problem. This is like, 
putting a band-aid on a gash yes. right now. Right. But you know, I got my first filing cabinet because they kept leaving, as you can see, they kept leaving stuff, stuff like, like that. Yes. And you want yes. your and I, my guess yes. is is that your vision is for this to be pretty clear. clear and but with your thing. Exactly. Yes. Alright, so I think I'm addicted to storage containers because yes, there's another <laughs> storage organizer here. Yes. To be honest, I think this was the original before For these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so now this is holding um, like ch mostly the children's artwork. Okay. That was worthy of keeping. Yes. That's so cold. I'm like, really? You brought this home? I'm like, mm, I don't know if this is a keeper. <laughs> right. So, so this, this, this is, is definitely not. This is definitely not display worthy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this was the quality artwork. Yes. Yes. That was worth keeping. Got and then um, what I did do last year that I kind of want to try to do is I just photographed my son's artwork. Good. And then I put the artwork into a book. Yes. That I made on uh, Shutterfly. Yes. So Good. That way we can we can you can still it. preserve it. Right. You don't have to hold on to, to it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um. So what are you kind of over? And what are you you still love that maybe want to switch it up? I think. Um, I still love the idea of having their stuff on display. Mm -hmm. I want to have a place where they know, you know, hey, I appreciate the hard work that you're putting in. We're yes. proud of you. So that's what this wall is about. Yes. Um, I think in, it would be something that I'd probably want to keep going for them, especially in the space that's their space. Yes. 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 I love that. Um, as far as this stuff, though, I feel like it... Now, this is what I call the Narchi Family Printing Press. Yes. <laughs> so this is like all of the like Christmas cards and birthday cards and things from um, the history of our family. Yes. However, I also like negative space. Mm -hmm. And so, again, as the family has grown, mm -hmm. it's filling and up. And as we've had so many birthday parties, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, maybe this would be better suited to like a scrapbook. Yes. So, because I think that's really what it's about. But we, yes. you know, it, it's fun and it's entertaining. It's nice. Yes. Um, it is very cute. It's definitely like moments in time is what I want to call it. The biggest thing with organizing and staying organized is letting your spaces and your defined spaces be your boundary okay. for this stuff. Okay. So for the wall right. decor, the framed cork board is your boundary. Right. That's it. That's it. That's what we have. To <laughs> yes, we're that's not what adding. We have to work yes, with. that's what we have. Okay. Exactly. All right. All yes. right. I, that's. I think that's a great idea. I think that makes a lot of sense. When you mentioned that this system pretty much works, but you weren't really committed to putting on a label. Yes. A really good expert tip is to use a small post-it note with what it temporarily is okay. and put it on the side or in the front, someplace where you can see it, Right. but then it's not permanent because right. if you need to switch something, you can switch it, especially okay. if there were like bigger drawers right. that you're like, no, this category needs a bigger drawer, okay. then you can switch it. And then once you know, this is what I need, then I can go Then ahead. you can put your okay. permanent. Oh, perfect. Yes. That's a great idea. And I use that for paper files, okay. and I use them for, you know, bins and boxes Everything and things like that. Sort. I think um, a good use of our time would be going through this, these areas here and probably this. Okay. Yeah. So Tanisha and I sat down to go through some of my storage containers and she really walked me through where I had been going wrong with some of my organizational systems. All right. Okay. So then what about this? So this is apparently something that someone intends to color from Trader Joe's. <laughs> For Valentine's Day? For Valentine's Day. Potentially. Potentially. Uh, potentially. Yes. <laughs> so because this is a paper drawer mm -hmm. and... It's a paper tour that's mostly governed by my children, to be honest. There we go. That is another question that, right. that is, is good to know, is who uses it. Right. And, and that is also good to know if the system is good for them. Right. So um, something that they need to access, this might not necessarily be the best. Right. Or it needs to be ones with a smaller drawer sure. okay. that it's very, the categories are smaller. Right. Because the bigger the area, like open spaces, and this is generally an open space. It's right. contained, but it's right. an open space is the enemy to organization. 
because Ooh. it allows for too much catch off. Yes. And so especially for kids, when you're trying to implement a system, the the categories and the spaces need to be small. They're boundaries. Okay. You need to create tighter More boundaries. boundaries. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So as you can see, I have put a little label that says paper. Yes. So apparently anything made from a tree. <laughs> Anything that involved any part of a plant, a tree. Yes. So is, this was supposed to be like blank paper? Well, it, it or, started with, it's funny, I think it started with printer paper. Because yes. we have a printer here. But yes. now the printer paper can't even fit in there. The printer <laughs> paper is here. Yes. And I'm not even sure what kind of paper we're going to find. <laughs> well, we will see. So during this first visit, Tanisha and I spent probably about two hours going through mainly papers and figuring out an organizational system that really worked. I have to say that it was really a very fun and enjoyable experience, not what you would think when it comes to going through old papers, but she has such a pleasant demeanor and personality. And again, it was a completely non-judgmental process. I felt like I really had a handle on it and I was ready to be able to carry the project forward in between our first and second session. Keeping yourself organized is one thing, but managing the organization of a space that's governed by your children is a completely different beast. I'm really glad that I had Tanisha come in. She offered so much great insight and perspective. I feel like I learned so much and I'm looking forward to our next couple of sessions where we will go shopping together and set up and finalize this space. Tanisha, can you just tell everybody where to find you? I don't want to just keep you all to myself. And that you can make the world more organized. Where can everybody find you? You can find me at naturalbornorganizers.com and on Facebook and Instagram at naturalbornorganizers. Thank you so much for your You're help today. Welcome. I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. You are. This is going to be a great year. Yes. I'm thinking, you know, in the next four to six weeks, we should have a whole new flow. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, because yeah. just within a couple of hours, we have created some functionality. Yes. And we have the direction where we need to go. Thank you.